something I, th I think about a lot lately, just how our food system, the, the kind of food supply change has been just, I don't know, it's, it's, it's been lengthened. It's just mm. so long, mm -hmm. you know, it's not just where traditionally the food have gone from the, the farm mm -hmm. to market to the table. You know, we're talking about the farm to some processing plant to your refrigerated trucks to warehouses. And so, you know, because it's become so long, it's, it's hard to oversee all those aspects. Yeah. And I just think that, you know, we can either uh, f figure out ways to have more oversight for all the um, different aspects of the food supply chain, or we can do the simple thing of uh, shortening the, the food supply chain and buying directly from the producers, whether it's, you know, going directly to farms, yeah. um, you know, supporting farms through community-supported agriculture programs, mm -hmm. or, um, you know, getting food from farmers markets. You know, when I think about the kind of inseparability of my own personal values and just the way that I want to be in the world and my, you know, work as an activist and yeah. an author around these issues, you know, ultimately it's about justice. Ultimately it's about compassion. Mm -hmm. And if I think about the fact that when I'm buying directly from uh, a food producer, um, the fact that, you know, 90 cents on every dollar that I spend goes directly to mm -hmm. that producer um, and, and that's money in their pockets where they can continue to sustain themselves, their, their operation, uh, their families, put food on the table. You know, it's, it's right. something that... Um, so it's not executives makes, and shareholders and banks and things like that, but the direct food You producer. know, yeah. I, I go back to this quote um, Malcolm X used to talk about when you support um, businesses where the owner's living off in some other community, yeah. at the end of the day, that business owner takes that bag of money and he takes it back to his community. Mm -hmm. And this whole idea that economists talk about the multiplier effect, you know, mm -hmm. we want to continue to have dollars circulating in the community. So for supporting a small producer who lives in our community, then they have more money to actually spend on, you know, other small business sure. owners. You know, yeah. they come in and they can get whatever their needs are. And so I just feel like, you know, we need to think about kind of concurrently think about economic development. Yeah. How can we ensure that we can sustain the communities and, and, and support the people who actually um, truly care about um, feeding us uh, while taking care of their families mm -hmm. and, and aren't, aren't just invested in increasing the profits for their shareholders right. as many of the corporate food producers are.